Hi, I'm Brennan from Edwards Vacuum, and I'm here today in our Global Technology Centre in the UK. I'd like to show you an experiment demonstrating differential pressures using a vacuum pump, a bell jar, some shaving foam, and a beaker. So first, I'll put some shaving foam into the beaker. Place the shaving foam in the center, and we're ready to start. I'll shut this valve to prevent any atmospheric air from entering the bell jar. And then I'll open this valve to allow the pump to start removing air from the bell jar. So the small bubbles of air inside the shaving foam are allowed to increase in volume due to Ball's law as the pressure drops inside the bell jar. This causes the shaving foam to rise, as you can see, and it will continue to rise as the pressure falls, making this crazy shape. So I close this valve to prevent the vacuum pump from pulling any more air out of the chamber. And next, I'll open the valve allowing atmospheric air in. The sudden increase in pressure will also increase the force on the shaving foam, causing the structure to collapse, as you'll see. So as you saw, when I allowed atmospheric air back into the bell jar, the rush of air blew the shaving foam around, but it eventually settles as a liquid due to the increase in pressure. So that was our experiment demonstrating differential pressures. I used an Edwards RV3 oil sealed pump, a bell jar, two Edwards speedy valves and an Edwards dial gauge, some shaving foam and a beaker. If you try to replicate these experiments, please be careful and ensure there's an adult present. Thank you for watching.